Now on any Android device, like for example the TiVo Stream 4K, there are many reasons why you may want to use a virtual mouse. Probably the most common one is if you are sideloading third party applications, applications typically not designed for the Android TV, many of these applications would only work with a mouse. Now a great example of that is the Aurora Store application. Now this is a fantastic application which gives you access to the entire Google Play Store. So not just applications limited for Android TV. As we can see on the screen, we have access to applications like your TikToks, your WhatsApps, and pretty much everything else. And all of these applications come directly from the Google Play Store. Now, unfortunately, to navigate around this application, you do need to use some kind of virtual mouse. So we can see on my device, if I bring up my virtual mouse, there it is. I can now, for example, uh, click on the menu bar over here, click on things, I can choose an application, all of that using my standard remote control, navigate around and access the things I want. So in this video today, let me show you three separate ways on how we can use a mouse on our Android TV devices or our Amazon devices or really any Android device. So make sure you hit that like button, make sure you hit that subscribe button. So with all of that being said, let's get started if you're new to the channel and you want to stay up to date with the latest tech tutorials the latest fire stick android and android tv tips and tricks then please do subscribe and hit the notification bell it's a small click from you but it makes a big difference to me thank you okay so the first option to get a virtual mouse onto our android device is to actually use a physical hardware mouse now what that means is for example on my tivo stream 4k i can use a bluetooth mouse like this and pair that with my uh, device. So for me to do that, if I just go over to settings, go to remotes and accessories, click on add accessory. Let me now put my mouse into pairing mode. Let's give that a second. And there we can see the mouse up there. So let's press the select button on that. Give that a second. Let's click on pair. And that's now all paired. So we can see straight away, I now have a mouse cursor on my screen. I can use that to navigate around. I can open applications and use a virtual mouse. Now in my example, I used a Bluetooth mouse. Now if you don't want to use a Bluetooth mouse, you could always use a USB mouse or a USB type C mouse, depending on what device you're using. But that's probably the quickest way we can get a mouse working on our device is just by using a physical mouse and connecting that to it. Now the second option actually has a ton of secret features in there and has to use a third party application called Cetus Play. Now this is available on the Play Store both for Android and iOS. So let me just get my phone and start the application. And here is my phone screen there. So when you start this application for the first time, the very first thing it does is to scan your entire network to find which compatible devices you have. So whether you have some Fire Sticks or Nvidia Shield, whichever device is compatible, as we can see, it will appear in your list here. Now, as we can see, I do have a couple of devices in my house, but I know, for example, that the TiVo Stream 4K currently has the IP address ending in 109. So if I click on that device there, just on the top right, let's click on that. So when I click on my device, this will now basically install the receiver software for me automatically. And we can see it's done exactly that. So we get the message that the CTS Play has now made a connection to our device. Let's click on OK to give the permission. Let's click on Allow. Click on OK. And I'll explain to you why this is very important. So let's click on CTS Play. Give that permission to install software. Let's press the back button. Click on OK again. Okay, so we've now made a connection from our application onto our TiVo Stream 4K. And the process is the same whether you are doing it on a Fire Stick or Nvidia Shield or really any other Android device. Now, the great thing about the application, as I just mentioned, is you don't need to install anything in advance. This application just pushes the receiver to your device. And we can see on my device, it did exactly that. Now, at the very basic level, we now have a fully functional remote control. So I can now press the home key, which is up here. And we can see now using the virtual D-pad, I can now navigate around my UI. I can click on things. I can start applications. But what I can also do is enable the virtual mouse. Now, for me to do that, if I click on this on the top right and select the mouse mode. And now when I click here and we can now see we have a great virtual mouse working absolutely fine. I can click on done. I can click on home and I can do all of that using my phone. So we now have a virtual mouse and I even can use the virtual mouse in here, guys. But really, guys, the virtual mouse functionality is just a small feature of this application. Let me just show you some of the cool things we can do. So if I go over to the hamburger menu, 
if I go to play on TV, so for example, if I click on video, so now anything I have on my phone, I can actually cast that to my device. And that device, again, can be your Fire Stick, Fire TV, your Android TV device, and in this case, the TiVo Stream 4K. So for example, if I click on this video here, this wipeout video, one click, and we can see straight away that video is now beamed onto the TV. So really easy to use, guys. And you can do the same thing for your audio and also your photos. Okay, let's back out of that. And you can also beam your files like applications, for example. So if you've downloaded something from our website on your phone, I can click on files. And here we can see we have APK. I can click on that. So anything I've downloaded on my phone, I can now beam that over to my device. Let's back out of that. Now back in the hamburger menu, we also have an app center. So this is again, one of the great features about this application where we now have a massive library of applications we can then beam these applications directly onto our device with just one click. So for example, here we can see uh, MX Player. If I click on Install, so just watch what happens on the screen. So one click of that, we get the message that Cetus Play is now installed in the application for us. So again, guys, so very, very easy to use, very easy to beam your applications, beam your video files directly from the application onto your device. And let's just cancel that for now because I don't install anything new. So that's the built-in app center. I mean, to be fair, this application probably just needs a video in itself, but let me just quickly whiz through some of the other features. Now, if I click on My Apps, for example, we can see all of the things installed on my TV Stream 4K. I can then launch them from here. I can uninstall them from here. Basically, I can manipulate the things already installed on my device. So for example, we have uh, this application down here, this internet speed test. Let's click on that. We can see straight away that launches on my device. I can now use the application. Alternatively, I can click on uninstall. Click on uninstall again, and the application is now uninstalled from my device. So again, we can manage those applications from the Cetus Play application. Okay, let's go back to the hamburger menu. I mean, we can see we have the live channels, we have YouTube, but the last great feature about this application I'm going to demonstrate in this video is the search to cast. Now, that has to be one of the headline features about this application, so let me click on that now. Now, as we can just see with some of those examples, it's basically asking you what kind of content do you want to search for? And any content that you can find via Google, you can search on this, click on that, and then that content will then be beamed onto your device without doing any kind of downloading. So let's just do a quick test now. So let's say, for example, we're looking for some uh, documentaries. Now let's just type in uh, Planet Earth. Okay, let's click on search. So this again is now searching all of Google for that particular search query. And uh, let's just pick one of these uh, random sites, this one over here. Okay, we have a couple of links. Uh, let's just try this one over here. So do you want to beam that over to your device? Let's say OK. And we can see straight away, guys, that takes over our screen and starts streaming that content immediately without doing any kind of downloading, any kind of you know waiting. That content is beamed instantly from Google directly onto your device. So let's back out of that. So that is one of the best features about this application is the search to cost feature. And as you can imagine, guys, you can search for any kind of you know content that you want. Okay, let's back out of that. So that's the second option to get a virtual mouse is to use the Cetus Play application. Now, the third option to get a virtual mouse onto our TiVo Stream 4K is to use the actual mouse toggle, the one that we use on our 4K Fire Stick. Now, unfortunately, on the TiVo Stream 4K, we don't actually have a play button, so we cannot launch that virtual mouse directly with the remote control, but let's just install that first. Now, to get this mouse, if you go over to my website, which is just http colon forward slash forward slash bit.ly forward slash tduk. That's me and the numbers 2019. Let's type that in and click on go. Now, when you get on my website, you want to navigate to the tutorial section, which is the hamburger menu over here. Let's click on that and let's click on tutorials. Now, I actually covered this process in an older tutorial, so you'll have to go down in the list. Uh, let's keep going down. And the one that we're looking for is called NVIDIA Shield Secret Features. So let's click on that. And this will give you the link to download the virtual mouse toggle, which works on the TV stream 4K or really any other Android TV device. Let's keep going down. And here we can see the virtual mouse toggle. So let's click on the link here. Give that a second. Let's scroll down and click on the green download button. Let's click on that. Then I'll show you how we can actually configure that on our device. Let's click on done. Let's now press the home key. 
Okay, now that we've installed it, let's open that up and let's go over to the plus icon. Let's click on that. Let's now open that up. And we can see straight away we get a warning in red telling us that we need to enable the mouse service. So let's do that now. Let's press the home key, go over to settings, go to device preferences, scroll down and let's open up accessibility. And there we can see we have the services and we have the mouse toggle, which is currently set to off. So if I click on that, click on that again, just to enable that and click on OK. That's now all enabled. And we can see straight away that the mouse actually appears on the top left. Let's press the home key. And this is where it gets a bit tricky, guys. So if I open up mouse toggle now, we can see we get no warning. But as I mentioned before, we have no play button for us to actually start the mouse. So how can we do that? Well, here we have two options. Firstly, we have the physical option where if you do pair up another remote control, and in my example, I actually paired up my old second generation Fire TV remote control with my TiVo. Now this is a standard Bluetooth remote control. So just like we paired my mouse, we can pair this remote control and we can see now if I press the home key, I can use that mouse on here. And because this mouse does come with a play button, if I double press the play button, and there we can see I now have a virtual mouse that I can use I can click on things, I can open things, and that works great. So that's option number one, where if you have another remote control with a play button, you can pair that with your device and then open up the virtual mouse with that. The other option is to use the official Android TV remote application. Now, unfortunately, all of this is available both for Android and for your iOS devices. The virtual mouse only seems to toggle when you use an iOS device. So it's a really strange bug, but let me just demonstrate that now. And here we can just see on my iPhone is asking me which Android device you want to connect to. And we can see we have the TiVo stream there. So let's click on that. I mean, this part does work perfectly fine both on Android and on iPhones, which means I can now use the virtual control here. I can press the home button. That all works great. What doesn't work on Android is when I double press the play button here, which we can see on iPhone, double press here. We can see that does bring up the virtual mouse. So that works great on iPhones, but for whatever reason, when I double press the play button on the Android version of this application, it just doesn't work, guys. So it is a bit annoying that you have to use another remote control, which does have the play button. Or alternatively, you have to use the iPhone or the iOS version of the Android remote application. So that's all for this video, guys. Many thanks for watching. I hope with these three options I've given you, you will be able to get some kind of virtual mouse working on your device. So if you did find this video helpful, do give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more stuff like this, then please do subscribe and hit the notification bell. As always, I always appreciate your likes, your shares, your comments. So do let me know what you think. Leave me a comment below and I'll hopefully catch up with you guys real soon. Thanks.